Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to part 14 again. Uh, but this time uh, we're gonna see how to update, delete, and write uh, the PF from RPG. Lee, okay, so we'll continue from where we left on our last video. Okay, so we have seen uh, how to read the PF using read and read P command, and how to read a particular record using uh, set LL, set GT, and then read E or read PE. And then finally, we have seen how to use chain, uh, which is the combination of set LL and read E, and then again get the particular record. Okay, and today in this video, uh, we're gonna see the update and delete and write operations. So let's get started. So I'm gonna continue from where we left, right? So uh, this, this, this is where uh, we were doing last time. So, okay, so let me start from the update. So let's see what we have. Uh, and query student BF. Okay, so these are the this test data we have. Assume uh, I want to select the records with uh, department as IT and I need to do some update. Okay, so how do we do that? So let me edit this program. Okay, first of all, uh, I'm going to do it in two ways. Okay, uh, one is the normal way, another one actually an efficient way. First of all, uh, I'm going to change this student LF into student PF uh, for that. Okay, and then we're going to do the update, right? So here, instead of I, I'm going to say U. Okay, U for update, uh, which means we can update and so we can read. Okay. Fine, so I don't, I want, I'm going to command this one and I don't want these two indicators. Fine, so I'm going to start plain, which means uh, no key, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to read everything. Okay, so I'm just going to read uh, the student PF file and uh, do while not EOF. So if I not, if I'm not reaching the end of file, suppose, then I'm just going to do an end do. Okay, so inside uh, I'm going to check. So I have read the one record, right? So I'm going to check uh, yes, dpt equal to it. Okay, I'm checking whether uh, I have an it record. And if that is the case, then inside the if, okay, uh, I'm going to say yes, yes, dpt equal to iot. Okay, and then I'm going to update. So please note that only for reading, uh, we can use the file name okay for writing or updating or inserting both are same is it or modifying whatever you need to use the command update i mean a record format okay so stud fmt so it's our record format and uh, once i have done that after the if condition i need to read the next uh, record then this will go to uh, do while and then keep going and just to uh, display i'm just going to display uh, updated plus character of SID. So SID is actually the uh, what SID is actually the student ID. You can see run query SID. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to display this particular ID field just for uh, reference. Okay, so updated that number. Okay, fine. So let's see uh, how this works. Uh, this is simple. So hope this clears. This makes sense for you. Okay, so student zero student zero one R, so call is TUD zero one R. So basically, it says updated uh, two three five, which is expected, right? Uh, yeah, so two three five where previously it was IT, but here in this approach, right, it's not good because we have six records and we are reading all the six records to identify what is IT and then we are updating it. Okay, assume we have like ten thousand records, but we want to update only two records. Okay, then it's not a good way, right? So efficiently, how to identify only those three records and then update it? So as you know, here it comes to the uh, settle read concept, which is reading with key. Okay, so which means I want to read based on the key called department, right? So I want to read based on this key and then uh, select only the IT field. Now we have changed it to IoT. Now let's do the reverse way. So uh, let's fetch those IoT records and revert back to IT okay in, a, in a, another way so for that we want the department to be key and we all know we have made the LF file uh, as the key with the department column okay so to use that I am using uh, LF as my declaration and I need a key so I am just having this particular key variable and inside I am going to say uh, key equal to IoT because now our DB containing IoT column okay and then uh, we're gonna say set ll with the key of uh, what is this t u d l f one. 
okay and then instead of brief we are going to say read key stay ud lf1 okay now we will delete this one if this particular thing is not end of file then student lf1 okay then this if is not needed why because we are already fetching a particular department with key as iot so we do not do a if condition again okay if it is found it means it is finding a record with the department as iot i don't want this then I, I want to revert this back to it okay and then update same stuff and then we are just displaying the condition this thing and i don't want the end if and instead of read i want uh, read e the same key of stud l of one that's it so now let's see if this works file 14 okay call stud 01 so again you can see student see updated 23 5 if you go and check my record now iot becomes to it but in this case what happened we executed the code only three times which means only those three records properly fetched and then updated this is a good way okay now let's see the other problem okay when i say problem uh, here we have this pf and lf right you can see this pf is having stud fmt and here you can see the lf is also having stud fmt as record format okay because uh, we are, we have created this lf as a shortcut way right we just we didn't give any field we just specified uh, only the key here okay in this case there are two two uh, files having the same record format so what if i wanted to use both the file in the same program okay how do we differentiate okay so i want to do that uh, fine so here say for example i am just having both the pf okay and then also the lf both are in update mode okay and then uh, say for example in some uh, say for example uh, okay we all know that first pf is already having the key as sid right so assume i want to take this particular one uh, field and then do some update okay so what we can do you can come here okay fine so i can say set ll uh, okay before that sid equal to 1 so here either you can use another variable as key or even you can use the same column name as your key okay because when, when once you declare this file right already those columns in that pfs are available for you to use okay so i'm going to use sid equal to one and then say set i okay again just that is to do a chain okay chain s i d to a student pf okay uh, so if percentage found of std pf and if okay inside i can say if i found it maybe i wanted to do isdpt equal to something okay and then update std fmt okay now in this std fmt i am expecting the pf to be updated okay maybe here in down the line i want the lf to be updated but the program does not know which one it is because both are having the same record format okay suppose for example if you want to compile this right it will throw an error so let me show that to you okay you can see the 40 error so if you go to the logs you can see external format name is already defined okay so we cannot use again so for this what we are going to do the workaround is actually take a 4 and then when you define a uh, uh, pf right you can give some keyword like rename the actual record format stud fmt colon the renamed record format so i'm going to say stud pfmt just to demonstrate it's a uh, pf just for my understanding you can give whatever the name you want okay so this is actually the syntax so if i just copy and paste here and then say this is also having the record format as stud fmt but i wanted to refer in this program as lfmt now here instead of say student fmt i'm going to say p fmt now it knows this belongs to this this belongs to this kind of stuff okay and then here okay we already have something with it so maybe i'm going to say uh, ece okay so do we have a record for dce and query stud pf okay we have this ece okay so let's change okay because I, I want to show both are working okay so i'm going to check with ec and whatever i find i want to change to uh, maybe e e w okay uh, yeah so here instead of ff fmt and say 
LFMT. Okay, I think that's it. So let's compile it. Uh, yeah, okay. 14. Now it's compiled because we changed the record format. Okay, so call stud01r. Okay, so now we see one record 4 is updated. We didn't get any message for the first one because we are not displaying anything. So if we go back, you can see this already updated to xxx. Okay, so now we learned uh, how to use uh, two different files having sa same record format and then how to uh, differentiate the record format inside using the rename uh, keyword. So that's pre pretty much for the update uh, keyword. For delete, everything is same except the keyword update, you will use delete so that it will delete that particular thing. Okay. Uh, and then what we have is actually finally the right one. So if at all you want to write a new record, uh, basically you will update all the columns with uh, value and then you will issue a write command. But only thing is uh, we need to use, okay wait, we need to use the indicator A. So let me go here and then uh, I will delete, uh, okay LF, okay let it be no problem and here take F4 there will be a thing called file addition put a so if you put a then it means we are, we are also uh, expecting to write a new record into this pf and there is also another way which is called a o here and then we will won't give anything which means we are directly uh, expecting the program to update or write the record okay so in this case um, then i'm going to say u f a no problem okay fine so i don't want a key here okay because i want to insert it and I'm just going to delete everything. I don't want it. Uh, yes. Okay. So what are the column we have? So run query. So SID, S name, S department. Only three columns. Okay. Fine. So SID, RP2, SID, S name equal to something. We'll fill it up. And yes, DPT equal to. Let's, see, let's put XXX. S name is name one and we will put something like 10 ok. So now we fill the values into the variables of the columns and then we will just use your write and stud pfmt because he, we are still having the uh, oh wait 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 uh, stud wait, what is something wrong man ok ah semicolon shit ok anyway so write stud pfm ok fine so let's quickly check this one call stud 01 r just run so if you go and check studpf you should be able to see the new record so that is pretty much for um, modifying uh, and writing the records how much time is spent 30 minutes okay i think uh, let me stop it here so this the basic operations of um, like rpgle communicating with the pf okay and we we do we still have uh, more uh, tips but i don't want to tell in this video maybe we'll cover that uh, when we do actual project so that we will come to know the scenarios uh, in, in which we need to do the file operations in a different way okay so we will see that in action and the next video which we thought about is actually what uh, yeah SQL RPG Lee. for SQL RPG I am not going to create another video because the earlier one which I made is the introdu introduction to SQL RPG Lee is a pretty much good content till now uh, maybe i'll give the link in the description below you can, can go and watch that one i'll also add that in my playlist so i'll directly jump into uh, the display file and subfile concept in my next video so until then uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye